welcome back to another Talking Thursday. I'm your host, Shamanism, otherwise known as Emily. You can call me anything, just don't call me late for dinner. I hope you're all doing well. In this quick video, I just had a quick announcement of excitement for the channel. And it's because I had an idea. Well, <laughs> actually, I should stop saying that. It's not my idea. The universe has these ideas and the way it works is sometimes I go, ooh, that's a really good idea. Do you mind if I use that? And sometimes I go, meh, I don't know about that one. So this idea I've had, it's not the first time. Um, I've thought of this for a while, actually. I would say that this idea itself has been marinating inside of my own head for a while, maybe maybe 10, 20 years even, as crazy as that is to say out loud on a channel, but, but really. And so what I wanted to share with you guys, which I hope that you're as excited as me about because it, it might not immediately seem exciting, but if you're anything like me or you have any special interests that happen to dovetail into mine, like you may find out, I don't know, <laughs> then this will be exciting. So what it's going to be is a, just a short little series called, not meaning that it will necessarily be short in um, like, number of of the series however the idea is that for the videos themselves to be relatively short so that they're easy to digest easy to understand and they give you some piece of knowledge and what that will be i honestly don't know it could be anything usually it has to do with nature or animals because as i think i've mentioned in either my intro video or one of the other videos i am very much interested in animals and nature and preserving the environment all of those good things uh, one of my main missions, if I haven't mentioned this before, but I'm sure that I have, go see my intro video or whatever. One of my main missions here on earth, and again, as lofty as this may sound, is to ultimately, and again, I know lofty goals, to grow wild food across the entire earth such that ultimately no one has to grow their own food. No one has to go to a grocery store. Everyone has enough available ability of food that everyone on earth could eat without having to actually pay for food. This is my personal mission, amongst many, many other probably things that you would also find imp <laughs> impossible goals. They're still my goals. Meanwhile, in regards to this series, what I thought was, and I again, I've had this idea for some time, but I thought, you know what? This feels like the right time to start it because honestly, the crazy part is, guys, I have actually quite a compilation of different things that I could already start sharing with you. And I have this weird sensation because it already happens to me, one, and two, because it seems like, as weird as this might sound to say out loud, guys, ever since I started to actually try and perp, that sounds weird too, because I've always wanted to give value on the channel. It's just that in my mind, there are sort of two different sections of within my channel, even though my channel is the one thing. And it's like the meditative, peaceful side of me, the things, parts of me where I play the singing bowl and play those things for you and make meditation. And there's this side of me who is very outdoorsy, who loves animals and who seems to have just weird interactions with critters, insects, animals, all sorts of animal type spirits on a regular basis. And I just thought that since that curiosity often leads me to very interesting places that, you know what, what the heck, I'm gonna start sharing that here. So I think there'll probably, it will be only once a week, don't worry so that it's not too much for those of you who aren't into it. And for those of you who are fascinated by the things that you'll find there like me, this will be a new addition to the days of things on the channel. So I'm gonna call it, I probably simple, simply did you know, and it will just be filled with all sorts of, I know it sounds very like Ranger Rick, which only those of you special and incredible folks who know what Ranger Rick is will appreciate that joke. P.S. Shout out to those of you who do. At any rate, that is the announcement for today. I just wanted to let you guys know that there's some very exciting things happening because did you know that I have seen things like this and this and even this. And I bet you that if I showed you either the stage that they came from or how I found them or all the things, you'd really be amazed. So we're going to have a new little 
it, it won't be much of a storytelling. It'll be more of kind of like a, a true did you know. It's like a, it'll just be an informational series about whatever. I know this sounds weird. It's not very wrap upable because it will include, like I said, insects and animals, but I'm sure it will include other things too. It's just sort of odd things that come to my mind that every once in a while that make me think, huh, I wonder how that works, or I wonder how that animal does this, or I wonder, <laughs> and my brain's a weird place, so I thought we'd go on that weird and wild and wonderful journey together. So I wanted to let you know that that excitingness is coming, and you may not think that that's genuinely exciting, but I tell you right now, some of the photographs, some of the things I've seen, some of the things I experience in my life are wild, and if and when I get the opportunity to share them with you guys, sorry, my voice is cracking, it's first thing in the morning. <laughs> If and when I get to share these things with you guys, I think, now of course it will depend on the feedback from y'all, but I think that if you guys vibe with me at all, you will find this stuff fascinating, just like I do. Because truthfully, the, the most crazy thing about it for all of this, for me, is it's not like I went out there one day and was like, you know what would be really cool Mother Nature today I'd like to see? <laughs> and I kid you not, I've seen some of the craziest... Now... I'll just give you an example because it's sad and somehow in my moving houses and stuff the footage of this got lost I think and if there's any way I ever find somehow to recover it I will do that but I think that that's not possible if you can believe it I am not making this up hand to heart you cannot make this up so where I used to live there was a day so this can be this this can be one of the stories that inspired did you know right I kid you not, I walked out of my house one morning. Now, in the old place where I used to have, used to live, I had a little back garden. Good size, maybe, I don't even think, honestly, quarter of an acre, but just enough to plant. I think I had five apple and pear trees. I had, well, I was supposed to have all pears. But I ended up getting a, a dud who was a beautiful pear tree. Um, so I have four, I had four pear trees, I mean, four apple trees and a pear, sorry, uh, dyslexia. Um, I had four or five blueberry bushes of two or three different varieties. You need that for pollination and whatnot. And anyways, the point was, so as was my habit every morning when I would get up, I usually would go out first thing, like, again, this is back when I was drinking coffee, kind of with my morning coffee or tea. And I would go out and just kind of look at the new plants I had, look them over, see if there's any pest damage, see if they needed anything, if the leaves were looking good, you know, kind of like you, <laughs> this is a bad analogy, but I imagine it's something similar to what you would do if you were in a hospital doing rounds in the morning. You just kind of check on all your babies, <laughs> right? So I would go check on my plants. So anyway, this one morning, I was going out to do my morning check of my plants and just kind of walk around enjoying my space. And guess what I saw? Me, just random little Emily. And I, again, I, I hope that one day somehow this footage resurfaces so I can share it with y'all because I could not make this up. What yours truly saw on when one of my brand new, uh, it was a macoon apple tree. So it wasn't very big yet. It was about the lower than my head and I'm about five, four. So it was maybe like five foot tall, we'll say this tree. It was still growing to say the least. We'd only planted it one or two years ago. And on this tree that I just happened to walk up to, to be again, checking the tree. What does I see? But a grasshopper walking out of its back, I, I am not even kidding you when I say that, it walked out of its back legs. I watched it basically pull apart its own body, its front half from its back half, the one with the legs, and go, choop, and then take the moving, still front walking half and grow a new set of legs, like literally right in front of me. And I just sat there going, did I just, is this National Geographic? So that is the inspiration for this channel in large part. That one specific incidence was like, it, let's, let's put it this way. It just made me think, oh my gosh, there's no way this is a common experience for someone, for people to just walk out and see these incredible, like natural events happening in front of their eyes. And when I tell you that that's not the first time something crazy like that has happened, I'm not kidding. So that's your announcement. 
coming soon. I don't know what the heck day of the week we're going to make it. If you guys have a suggestion, feel free to put it down there because as it stands, we have Talking Thursday, which I honestly like doing because it allows me to connect better with you guys. And I like to share some of the humor rather than just meditations as well. But I just think, so we'll be sticking that on some day of the week. It won't be Friday because fire is Friday dedicated because I know some of you guys really love your fire videos, which I get that. Um, and for the rest of you who like some of the variety of what you'll find here, there will also be all the other stuff we have. So yeah, I'll stick it in there one day. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a, a nice thing to do on Monday. Can't guarantee it'll be the same day every week, at least for a little bit while we're figuring out our feet. But you have that exciting to look forward to. I know it doesn't sound exciting yet. And having said that, if things like crazy creatures that I can pretty much promise it's very unlikely that you've seen just arriving to say hello to me or beautiful butterflies or beautiful birds or birds nesting, which there is actually a nest right across in my tree. It's just a robin nest, nothing crazy there. Just nice to see wildlife around my house, which is one of the reasons, by the way, guys, on a personal share, I'm so excited for when I finally get to start planting things and really sharing with you guys more about the farming, the permaculture, the stuff that this channel was really created for. That is going to be so much fun. And I have a funny feeling that the minute that that happens, I will have so many more did you knows to share, so much more actual helpful enlightening things to say. And best of all, things that also will be helpful for you guys in your lives as you grow up, as you move on, as you go through parts of your life, whatever. I aim to be a channel where you can feel at home, you can learn something, and you can laugh with me. I know that that's kind of not any one thing, but now you know the sorts of things that you will primarily find here because it's the kind of gal that I am. So it's already been somehow 11 and a half minutes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Again, subscribe. I do upload every single day so that you're notified, which doesn't always happen per the algorithm. Also, algorithm, I'm still learning about it and how it kind of works and I'm still shifting around some of the settings. It turns out these are actually a big thing. Shout out to that guy who I one day when I remember to do the video, I will thank him for that. Note to self, editing me, remember to thank the dude who is responsible for the settings for YouTube. That's an, I'll do another video on that sometimes, perhaps in a short one covering. This was amazing, by the way, which, like, which is why I will be linking him in, in the future video when I do talk about this. In fact, let me write myself a reminder just really fast. Because what I discovered, y'all, while I was in my, my quest for glory, no, in my <laughs> quest to improve this channel and everything, um, I found a video from a guy who, bless his soul, because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes on YouTube, people will say how to blah, blah, blah. And it's like a 20 minute video. And in that 20 minutes, they are not even telling you how to blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I found a fantastic one, which was like something like 21 settings that you don't know about that screw over small street, small uh, creators. And I thought, you know what, that can't hurt me. So I watched and I actually think that a lot of you may not know those. So I'll probably do a video on that as well as credit the fellow who I got it from because pff, without him, I would potentially still be screwing myself over via settings. I didn't even know affected certain things. What I really love about his video is he breaks down every single of the, I think it's 21 settings that he talks about. Every single one, he explains what does it do? Why is it there? And like what you may or may not be doing by having it be on or off, which for me is like the best version of an informational video. It's short, it's to the point, explains everything I need to know and just does it in the most succinct way possible. So anyway, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day. As I said, thank you again so much for spending the time with me. It's been a blast as always. You guys are a fun crew. I love to laugh with you and share stuff with you, which I'm honestly really excited about that. You saw the pictures from earlier and that's just one small tidbit of the kind of stuff that comes into my life. And I don't know why, but listen, if it wants to share, it's beautiful and fascinating the nature of nature with you. I am so happy to share that. So look out for Did You Know is coming soon. And thank you to everyone who subscribes. There are something like 600 and I might be overestimating somewhat, but like 30, 30 40 or 50 of you. At any rate, the fact that we're over 600 and you guys find me interesting, entertaining, whatever enough to still be here. I just want to say a sincere thanks as always for being here. And other than that, 
this girl is out like sauerkraut. So have a beautiful rest of your week and weekend when you are seeing this. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will see you for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I upload, which is every single day. And so you don't miss out on new fun content like, did you know? See you soon. Namaste and much love. Don't for sub sub blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, and now I forgot what else I was gonna say, but um, YouTube settings. But I, but as having said that, but it's funny that every talking Thursday I'm actually ending up filming. It doesn't always work that way. <laughs> um, don't for sub sub blah, 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 blah. <laughs>